Hey guys, so in the following video we'll go over the details of how you can customize the appearance of your galleries. First of all we'll go to the back end of our website and let's go over to our gallery page by going over to pages. Let's scroll down and find our gallery page. So as you see here we have several gallery options and if we go over to the front of our website, let's go to the navigation menu. Here you see that we have several galleries. We have gallery with same image size with title over the hover and with gutter. Then we have no gutter space and a masonry layout, etc. So in order to make any of these updates, first of all, whenever you're creating your gallery page, let's just click on add new and this will be our test gallery page. So let's type in the title test gallery. We select our template as latest galleries. Let's go ahead and publish this template. All right, so once our page has been published, let's click on a view page to see the default settings for our gallery. So here we have the default settings for our gallery page. Now, as you'll notice, both of these pages display the same amount of galleries and the same galleries but both of them display them in a different way. So in order to make any of these adjustments, once you've selected your latest galleries template, you then have the option of either selecting specific gallery categories. So you can either select category one or engagements, whatever you want to display within your gallery section. So for example, if you have a website and within the navigation menu, you want to categorize your galleries by weddings, engagements, bridal shoots, trash the dress, etc. You can always do so by creating just a gallery page and you can title it um, My Best Weddings and you have your category here where it says My Best Weddings and you can select this page to showcase only those galleries. So you can select your gallery category. Next off you can have additional options you can play around with. You can just display sortable galleries. You can use gutter space between boxes. Gutter space is this space over here between the uh, gallery images. As you see, this page doesn't have any gutter space, whereas this page does. You can then select the type of view. You can either have all of the images crop like this page over here, or you can have a more masonry type of layout where you can have different images uploaded vertical and horizontal as well. So let's take this masonry layout with the title. We can have it either below or on top of the images. So we'll have this one on top of the images. We can have a title over our style or border around our title. The border around title is this border over here. So let's just show just the title, select number of columns, let's put in three, and page uh, pagination type it will be infinite scroll. So let's go ahead and update these settings to see what happened to our test gallery page. As you'll notice, the layout of our page changed. We have only three images come up, or three galleries. We have the title, which is not boxed, and we do not have the gallery category listed here. We have no gutter space, and we have an infinite scroll, which means as we scroll down, new blog posts or new galleries will come up. And we can always choose to have gutter space in between our galleries. So let's select gutter space. You can click on update. Go here, refresh this page. And as you see here, we have gutter space between our galleries. We also have an additional option of how we want to display our galleries. So let's click on our, our gallery. And over here, we have an image slider. What we'll need to do is go over to Flow Theme. Click on our flow theme options. 
and we'll go over to sliders. Within the sliders area, we can select the arrow, the type of arrows we want to use. So I'll just select this arrow here. I'll click on update settings to view these changes. I'll just refresh this page. And once I hover over the images, you'll see that I have a different type of arrow come up. Next off, we also have another option of how we can display our general gallery page. Currently, we're using this layout where we have the main image and then additional thumbnails underneath that image. Now I want to use this layout. I'll click on Update Settings. We'll go here and refresh this page. And as you'll notice, I have only a single image and I do not have any thumbnails underneath. However, if I hover over this image, I have this icon where I can view a full grid of my entire gallery. So once I click on it, I'm taking it, I'm taking to this view where I can choose the image I want to view in full screen mode. So I'll just select this image and it's taking me to that image. Now I can click back and forth between these images, but then also have the option of viewing the entire grid and view the full amount of images within this gallery. So this is another option we have of how we can display our galleries. You can enable or disable autoplay for your galleries within this section here. And then you can also enable the autoplay delay in seconds or milliseconds. Currently it's set as milliseconds and you can see the description here that one second is equal to 1000 milliseconds. So you can make those updates here as well. But this is pretty much it in terms of what you need to know of how you can customize your galleries.